Well, this particular one, I could not get that grease fitting to take any grease either. So I think that had a lot to do with it. Okay, come along here. I got a hook to the engine hoist. I got this arm off of there. I really didn't want to weld right next to my diesel. There's a crack in there, so some of the weld may have fell through. And she started running out of wire. All right, guys, we got another project here with the New Holland 4835. Used tractor I bought a couple of years ago. <clears throat> Probably has seen quite a bit of abuse just by looking at it, the way things are. Over on this side of the loader, when I bought it, they had welded a new bushing in here for that. That's probably cracked. Other than that, the loader's in good condition. I did have to change all the seals and that hydraulic cylinder. The uh, place I bought it said they changed the seals, but they had just put uh, some uh, leak sealer in the hydraulic fluid which ended up I had to change the hydraulic fluid because it looked like it had water in it. So anyway, I was working the other day and then I noticed this later on. Pretty good sized crack. It's probably, well, this particular one, I could not get that grease fitting to take any grease either. So I think that had a lot to do with it. But the pin came out pretty easily. So I'm going to have to, uh, I got the pin for that out, pin here out, <clears throat> and these pins, I know it's pretty low hours on this tractor, because the pins have just a little bit of play in them, not much, so you know, hogged out. It says it has 20, well, the, when I bought it, it had 2,000 hours on it, I got about 400 more hours on it. My plan is to weld that up, grind it out a little bit, weld it. I'm going to take this whole arm off. This I'm going to leave on the loader. On there I got that side pinned in still. So I pulled this pin out. It pivoted up a little bit. But what I'm going to do is take these three bolts off here. And I've already got the lower part of this taken off, which kind of interferes with the fuel filler. So hopefully I can lift this a little bit, maybe take the cap off of here, and I'm going to try to lift it with my engine hoist. I believe this is going to be heavy. This is one inch thick steel there, and this is all boxed in heavy stuff, 3 sixteenths at least. Okay, come along here, I got a hook to the engine hoist with chain. One thing I walk out watch out for is uh when I take these bolts out I don't swing and hit this glass over here. I need some help on that. Get my helper out here. So what I did so far I got that both the top bolts out or the uh top pins of the loader out. Then I just moved the loader a little bit to uh lift these arms up. That one's pretty loose. Might have to use a breaker bar. Let's see what happens. That one just being a little stubborn. I'm gonna have to spray that and uh, get the breaker bar up. All right, with a little help, I got this arm off of there. These holes might be oblonged a little bit. That one there is, looks like. This one I had to heat up with a torch, get it loose. This one right here, that sucker was on there good. I even used a long breaker bar with a pipe on it. Still wouldn't come loose, so I heated it up for about five, 10 minutes and then it came loose. I wanted to take it off of here so I can get a good weld. And I really didn't want to weld right next to my diesel fuel tank here. All right, got that 3M paint stripper. Wheel that cleaned up good. Next we're gonna 
take this grinding wheel and uh, I'm just going to grind out some of this wheel here uh, open that crack up a little bit not open it up much but try to v-shape it a little bit so we can feel in and uh, get good penetration on that take a look and see what kind of penetration we got flip this over see what the back looks like there's a crack in there so some of the weld may have fell through let's take a look let's see if we got pretty good heat penetration yeah let's see it's pretty good I may come back here and weld this too I think I'm gonna try and weld this back of his tie that together too you can see the weld in there all right, if I had a 220 welder, it'd probably be better. I'd get a few more amps out of it. But I think it tied in pretty good. The welds tied in pretty good to that bushing. All right, we're getting close. Just got to move it over a little bit more. Maybe I should have welded some of this up. Because it looks like it's been loose for a while and it kind of beat it down a little bit. I think I need to weld that up. Because this arm, I remember this being loose on here. I think it's because of that reason there. Look close. I gotta weld the bead on there before putting this back on. Because there was too much slack in there and that, that arm would rattle. Okay, here we go. So I built that up a little bit with some weld. Because <clears throat> the way it's all, so you can see right here, it's gonna ashed over so there was a looseness on that post where it attaches to all right we're having a hell of a time i'm trying to line these pins up now i got the cylinder in but uh trying to get the pins here because we're on unlevel ground here so it's a matter of we use the engine hoist to uh, lift the loader a little bit and then using the hydraulic cylinders back and forth and maybe moving the tractors back and forth we got one most of the way in we got to get it in the back side yet it's just it's gonna be a nightmare that's difficult all right so i got that all fixed the other day this was always rattling this section was rattling on this big pin here so what I do is I built it up with a little weld. So and I was able to uh, clamp this on tighter. This piece here, it swings around. So now it's nice and tight. Uh, loader's not rattling. We had a certain RPM if you had it idling. It would just rattle like crazy and sound like something's falling apart. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease all the... Uh, Oh, the fittings. This is a, this fitting here was the one that caused it to crack because this fitting was clogged up. I changed the fitting when I first got the tractor, and uh, it was still clogged. There was rust scale inside the hole from the loader going up and down, and it just packed that thing solid. So I had to take a nail and punch all that rust out of there. And now I can come in here and uh, grease this all up good. I need to turn that fitting around, but uh, that should hold it good. This is tied in, and it's welded from both sides. I'd say that would be a good permanent fix for it, at least for another 20 years. And I replaced all these bolts in here too. Some of the, there was a broken bolt in one of them, and undersized bolt in the other one. Like somebody had this loader off before. So uh, today I'm just going to go and grease every fitting on here. Get, keep it all greased up good while I got the fittings open. Take care of the loader. Somebody ran this tractor hard and uh, didn't do proper maintenance on it. They let that everything go dry on it. 